Hi and welcome. My name is John and today we're going to look at editing video in multiple layers. Now this is not a how-to, it's more of a say what? In past conversations I've had with folks interested in video editing, I've discussed some of the more notable differences between the pro-level or semi-pro level video editing applications and the consumer level or entry-level editing programs. One such difference would be that the higher-end applications offer the capability of editing multiple layers of video. In cases where the experience of the entry-level editor has been limited to iMovie or Windows Movie Maker, it may be difficult to understand the concept of multi-layered video editing or how such a feature can benefit the creative process of editing video. So let's take a quick look at basic video editing with and without layer options. I'm on a Mac, so we'll be comparing iMovie and Final Cut Pro. In entry-level editing programs such as iMovie, the user is limited to a single layer or track of video. All video content, including the video clips, effects, filters, and titles are limited to that one track, and each element used in that track must be balanced according to its cohesion or conflict against all the others. Once an element such as text or visual effects is applied, they become embedded within that single layer of video, and subsequent efforts to modify or fine-tune those elements can be both challenging and somewhat limited. Windows users may consider enhanced entry-level options such as those offered by Pinnacle that include a second video layer within the interface to be used for basic compositing, and on the Mac, users of iMovie prior to iMovie 08 have the option of purchasing third-party plugins that mimic the effect of a second video layer, again for basic compositing. But because this enhanced effect is still embedded within the single video layer, its capability is limited, and such plugins are currently not compatible with iMovie 08. When we enter the domain of semi-pro applications like Final Cut Express, or professional level applications like Final Cut Pro, we find an interface that accommodates video layers by the dozens. With a little creative effort and the use of the advanced editing tools that come with these applications, the user is given the technological magic that can take me from here, to here, to here, and even here. Even though I've never left my garage. With multiple video layers or tracks, we can add or composite additional, additional video, video clips, clips or effects or titles, backgrounds, or other visual elements. And you can change the dynamics of these elements independently. You can alter the size, shape, position, and appearance of each element within its own layer without affecting the content of the other layers in any way. With basic imaging control of your elements to manipulate the contrast, hue, or opacity, and more advanced controls over color correction, 2D or 3D perspective, and numerous advanced imaging filters, along with the creative potential of multiple video tracks, you are given a great deal of control over every aspect of your video's appearance in ways that entry-level applications simply cannot provide. But all that is for another time and another topic. So that's it for now. Thanks for watching.